All right, guys, uh, Chris here with Armatan Quads. Uh, I want to talk to you about something. Um, just recently, I think today or yesterday, uh, Mini Quad Test Bench uh, released some pictures of a new motor that we're coming up with. And uh, it uses a different way of mounting a propeller, essentially, to the motor. And um, I figured I would take bit of time just to talk to you about this a little bit uh, what you're looking at here is not uh, the motor that we will be releasing uh, it's a previous prototype on which we tested uh, this style of I guess this different way of mounting a propeller onto a motor and uh, we you know we learned a little bit from this one we were very close and then we moved on to something a little bit different and a little bit better than what this was but what you're looking at here in terms of the the way the shaft is designed is the same as the motor that we will be releasing only difference is that this guy here is six millimeter long whereas the final version will be only five millimeter long the reason we did this is because we really wanted this to be not kind of a you know a proprietary thing where you'd have to use specific types of propellers or a specific type of hardware to use them. We wanted to keep this uh, non-proprietary as much as possible. We, we pretty much managed to get away with it. And we've tested some of the thinnest uh, props on this, like this would be a gem fan here, gem fan. And then thicker one here will be a dial prop, for example. And then what we we based, you know, on based on all the different hub thicknesses out there, uh, we, we pretty much kind of picked something right in the middle that would fit everything well. And we're right at about five millimeter for that. And so this design is really simple, really. It's, you know, I think a lot of the, the motors in the past were using aluminum shafts or aluminum propeller adapters, you could say, and uh, they weren't hollowed out. And eventually, they, some companies released what they call the you know, racing series uh, type motors that used um, hollowed out uh, stainless steel shafts or propeller adapter. And this would look like something like this. Uh, this is a DYS made for us uh, by DYS, Armatan 2205-2300KV. Uh, it basically has the retaining bolt at the bottom and it also has the hollow shaft, uh, which is quite typical for uh, racing motors these days. They are pretty much, most of them will have a uh, stainless steel shaft. And then, you know, they call them hollow shaft, but this one, for example, if you go here like this and you put something in there, you see how deep is it hollowed? Well, it's barely, barely hollow. It's only six millimeter. It's hollowed six millimeters only, and the rest is full. I'm not sure about other brands of motors, but I assume they do this so that when you secure the nut on there, you have a little bit more beef where you put when you torque on the on the nut on the nylock. Uh, anyway, this is currently what's used on, as far as I know, most motors, and. One of the things with this is that they're very tall. It makes them very tall. You have a, you know, if you compare this here, for example, now, you have much difference in, in how much material protrudes from the motor can. And what this tall shaft here does, it basically acts, acts as, as leverage uh, on impact, because like a lever, essentially. Because if you hit the motor towards the top end on the nylock, you have a lot more uh, you know, you have more leverage, as that's the right word. You got more leverage to cause damage to the shaft, uh, both externally here and internally. Uh, whereas with something that's short like this, you, uh, I mean, how can you even bend this now? If you look at this, this is six millimeter. The final version is only five millimeter. And this is a five millimeter shaft here. Uh, I don't see that bending really. I just really don't. And then on top of that, the way we designed this is we're using a eight millimeter bolt to go through a spacer. And so essentially the bolt goes beyond the motor, uh, what you call the motor top. 
So in doing so, the very short shaft, which is already there, very short there, is completely filled in with an iron boat. And the shaft itself is stainless steel. And so you don't even have a hollow there anymore now. You've got a full on uh, five millimeter shaft uh, that's also five millimeter long. Let me give you an idea how this works. Very simple. Just put your prop on. And then, for this, I would not recommend using a cheap Allen key. I'd recommend using a decent quality hex drive. This goes like so. See how quick this is now? And you feel it when you get to the end. You can tell you're, you're maxed out. And you just give it one real good tug. And that's really all that's been needed in our tests. Uh, there's a lot of threaded space on the boat into the shaft and we've only tested clockwise by the way all the shafts were clockwise on all four motors uh, nothing came loose um, everything stayed really tight not using any Loctite or anything like that uh, final production motors uh, will have counterclockwise and clockwise just you know to be on the safe side I guess I wouldn't call it be it on the safe side just to uh, trying to find the right word for it, just to make sure that essentially no, there's no complaints from end users who feel that perhaps having counterclockwise and clockwise rotation motors would benefit this type of application because I think that some guys will think, look at this and think, well, I don't know, there's no night lock, there's nothing holding the boat from coming out. Well, I'm a pretty handy guy myself, it's what I've done all my life before I built quads. And I know that this is, I mean, the amount of torque that I can put on this using a good, uh, this is 2.5 now, 2.5 X drive. The amount of torque that I can put on this, I mean, I can't strip it. That's for one thing for sure. I can't strip this boat and I can't break it. So it's pretty much as strong as my hand can be torque that on there get that nice and tight and frankly I don't need to tighten that much I worry that I'm going to compress the hub too much and then cause damage to the hub sort of making the plastic expand and perhaps become more brittle or suspect a failure so that's it guys so if you look at the difference on this for example now you got two different tops here two different motor style and you can see that this is very low profile as well now super low profile there's really nothing to to hit to break it and then the base of the the spacer uh, we kept it at 0 0.8 millimeter so it's basically this section here is basically uh, one sorry 0 0.8 millimeter thick at the center so it's not going to bend or so very difficult to to damage this all right so that's it guys i hope you like this and then this should be uh, available uh, sometimes a third week or end of this month and then they're not this motor though i'll say this one more time if you want to see what the motor actually looks like you can visit um, mini quad test bench and also uh, note that the pictures that they put on their website uh, that, that uh, Ryan put on his website um, is of a prototype. The final production will have color and will look slightly different, although the, you know, the, the, the everything will be the same, just with color. All right, all right. Thanks, guys. Cheers.